What's up guys, Greg with GY Fitness. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we talk about everything that's related to fitness, health, and wellness. You guys ever walk into a supplement store and feel totally overwhelmed when you look at the massive amounts of supplements that's on the shelves? Well, let me just give you guys my idea of some basic supplements that you can start off with and once your fitness journey improves, then you can start adding a couple of other things into your supplement regimen. The one supplement that I wanna focus on first and foremost, and probably the one supplement that everyone talks about is protein. You know, protein is something that we definitely want in our supplement list. And the reason why is because protein is the building blocks of muscle and also recovery. So if you are thinking about getting into fitness or if you're gonna be you know, hitting the heavy weights and doing a lot of strength training or endurance training, you definitely wanna supplement into your diet protein. Now we have a couple of different lines that we carry on the GY Fitness website. We have Yamamoto Nutrition and we also have Blackstone Labs. And the protein that we carry are isolates. So what that means is it actually absorbs really fast through the digestive process so it can get into the bloodstream a lot faster than a slower acting protein. So protein, definitely number one on my list and we'll talk about other stuff. Now when you decide on what protein to take, you definitely wanna take into consideration a couple of things. Um, number one, I mean flavor is probably the first thing, right? You wanna make sure that you get something that tastes good because if it doesn't taste good, I can almost guarantee it's probably gonna end up in the rubbish can. And you don't wanna spend a lot of money on something you're just gonna throw away or not even take. So, you know, do your research, look at the reviews. Um, definitely wanna get something that's gonna taste good to you. And another thing is you wanna make sure you um, check to see, you know, if, you know, what the protein is made out of. Um, you know, you don't wanna get uh, protein that has a lot of milk supplements in it. Um, you want to make sure that uh, the protein has enough grams in each servings as well. And you really want to focus on a brand that's been around for a while. I mean, you know, you want to look at, you know, Yamamoto Nutrition has been around. Um, you know, Blackstone Labs has been around for a while. You know, other supplement companies like Gaspari Nutrition. Um, and, and there's a whole bunch of other ones that's been on the market for some time. But you definitely want to you know, focus your um, your decision making on, on flavor, which is, you know, one of the biggest things. And then obviously the quality of the protein and the company that's actually creating the, the protein supplement. You know, another supplement that I would recommend that you put on your shelf at home would be branch chain amino acids. And in front of me, I have two examples. I have one from Yamamoto Nutrition and I have one from Blackstone Labs. You know, the difference between the two is that with Blackstone Labs, they actually put a nootropic in it. So it helps create focus uh, when you're training and helps create focus throughout the day. You know, with BCAAs, you're gonna have three of the main amino acids in there. You're gonna have leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And whenever you look at BCAAs, you're gonna see like a ratio, like a 2 one, one or a 3 one, one or whatever. And basically, that's measured in grams. So what that means is you're gonna have, if it's a 2 one, one you have two grams of, of leucine, uh, one gram of isoleucine, and one gram of valine. Uh, it might not necessarily be in that order, but you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. So make sure you guys check to see, you know, what the serving sizes are. Um, just like with protein, you want to make sure you get a BCAA that has flavor uh, because you don't want to get something that tastes nasty and it's only going to end up not being used or potentially just thrown in a rubbish can. Okay, and um, I also recommend that, you know, you could you can drink branch chain amino acids, you know, either prior to workout or even during workout, your intra training. Um, or you can drink it throughout the day. Uh, I've done I've done every all, all of it before, so um, and it tastes good. It tastes a lot better than just drinking straight water, you know. But I would recommend this to put on your arsenal uh, in your supplement list, you know. And another um, supplement that I would recommend that you put on your shelf, you know, as a basic, you know, supplement would be um, creatine and also glutamine. Um, in front of me, I have Blackstone Labs. And you know, creatine and glutamine are supplements that can help with with recovery. Um, you know, creatine obviously helps with um, increased energy, and uh, you know, creatine can also reduce uh, myostatin levels. Um, you know, as you know, higher myostatin levels actually inhibit 
the, the growth of new muscle. So creatine would actually decrease myostatin levels so you can actually potentially grow new muscle, right? And you know, I would recommend these basic stacks if you guys are like, you know, training hard in the gym and you guys are doing a lot of, you know, endurance training or strength training or even just, you know, bodybuilding training. Um, you really want to make sure that you can recover correctly and, you know, with creatine and glutamine, uh, you can do that. You know, so this is what I consider like your basic supplements that you should have on your shelf. You know, you got your protein, your branch chain amino acids, you have creatine and you have glutamine. Uh, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, some other supplements that you can consider, you know, as you start to become more experienced in nutrition and training and all that. So as you guys know, uh, you know, when you train hard and when you lift hard, you know, one of the most important things in growth is rest and recovery. And sometimes, you know, some folks, you know, they had a long day, you know, they, they train super hard, they got kids. And, you know, when it's time for rest, some guys just can't get rest, you know, just for some reason, they just can't fall asleep. Uh, so we have a product uh, from Blackstone Labs called Anesthesize. And, you know, Anesthesize will actually help you fall asleep so you can recover. And, you know, recovery is probably one of the main things that's overlooked, um, you know, when bodybuilding or when trying to build muscle. A lot of people, I think that a lot of people lack the recovery part or the sleep part uh, because, you know, we're Americans and we're busy and we're always running around and doing things. So if you need a sleep aid, uh, you can pick up an exercise through our website and um, it's from the Blackstone Labs collection. Now on the flip side of a sleep aid, some of you guys might need something to wake you up, especially before you train. So I would recommend a pre-workout. And there's a whole bunch of different pre-workouts on the market today. And you know, there's a whole bunch of different ingredients in them. Uh, the ones I have in front of me are from Blackstone Labs. And we basically have two. So we have, I'm gonna talk about Dust X, which is uh, a pre-workout that has caffeine in it. Um, and it also has a, a pump modulator in it, so it's going to help you with uh, vascularity and, and muscle volumization. Um, so when you get into the gym and you start training, you can actually feel the muscles uh, pump up. Um, Dust X is one of those pre-workouts that I would recommend that you don't take a whole bunch at one time. I would recommend that you microdose it and kind of measure your tolerance. And as your body is able to take on more, then perhaps add more. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that you just do an entire scoop for the first time uh, because you may have a negative experience and that may scare you and then you probably won't want to do any uh, pre-workouts from then on. So really just kind of start slow, um, especially if this is the first time that you're trying a pre-workout. Uh, I mean, if you're a caffeine junkie, then maybe no issue. But um, at the same time though, don't, don't, don't get crazy with it. And then, you know, we also have, um, Hype Reloaded. So this is a, a, a stimulant-free uh, pre-workout. So these are for the guys um, like me that's sensitive to stimulants. And um, you know, with Hype Reloaded, you have you know a pump in it, so it's going to help you um, get that volumization in the gym. So when you start training, you can actually feel the muscles swell up. And uh, this is something that I would recommend for the folks that you know have a, a lower tolerance for caffeine, like myself. Right. So this is something that I would take. Um, I personally would probably shy away from this because which is the dust X because when I take that then I get too jittery um, And then I can't enjoy my workout. So, you know, all depends on the individual I mean if if you can handle the dust X then go ahead and do it um, If you want something that's stimulant free then hype preloaded another supplement that I would recommend uh, From Blackstone labs is called glycolog, you know um, carbohydrates have always gotten a bad rap right and you know, a lot of folks try to shy away from carbohydrates because they associate high amounts of carbohydrates uh, with body fat. And glycolog is actually a, an insulin mimetic and it's a nutrition partitioning agent that shuttles the carbs that you, that you intake into your muscle cells versus pushing it into your, um, your adipose tissue or, or your fat cells. And, um, you know, I would recommend this as you guys start to get more experienced in your fitness journey. Um, you can take glycolog with your high carb meals. Um, obviously, you know don't 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 get crazy and don't eat like you know two 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 big pizzas and think that this is the magic pill because it's definitely not. 
um, it's a supplement so you want to make sure that you supplement you know um, intelligently okay and um, you know it it, this, it doesn't mean that you know you can eat all kinds of crap and take this pill and then you know you feel like you know you're covered by that um, you know what what I was taught and you know what I hear all the time from different coaches and different trainers out there is that you know you can never out train a bad diet so remember you know this table has all supplements and you really have to focus on a really good uh, nutritional diet to make sure that you achieve your goals you know and I also like to add a couple of other things you know to my supplement list as well uh, you know if you haven't seen the video where I talk about what I eat in a day um, you'll actually see that I actually take these things in the morning um, you know we have these examples from Blackstone Labs so we have turmeric uh, we have fish oils uh, we have vitamin C and we have Blackstone Labs juiced up and you know these things are really important uh, because it helps with supporting you know healthy joint function it helps with uh, brain and cardiovascular function it helps with um, you know having a strong immune system and these are all important things and the reason why is because you know we have we have COVID-19 and you know you, we really want to make sure that we're healthy um, on the inside you know and look really good on the outside you know so these are just a couple of things that I implement into my supplement regimen and um, I actually take this on a daily basis so there you go guys you know just real quick basic supplements that I think you should have in your shelf protein definitely is a must you know we have branch chain amino acids we have creatine glutamine you know we have a sleep aid you know we have a pre-workout we have an insulin mimetic and you know we have your vitamins and minerals that you should be taking on a daily basis to make sure that you know you don't only look good outside but you also uh, feel good on the inside so you know if you guys enjoyed this content please subscribe if you have any questions comments or suggestions please add them to the comments below but I'm also interested to hear what you guys take in your basic supplement stack I'm always learning so I'm always interested to see what's out there um, also don't forget to click on the bell um, that bell is going to notify you when we drop new videos so thank you again for connecting with the GY fitness team and we'll see you soon